Hi there, it's Karen, and I'm going through the wonderful stack that my mailman has left me. And the next thing I got, I am cheating a bit on. I'm including several shipments that I've gotten over the past week in one. This is from Starlux. They had a minor shipping delay with their merch box, and they sent out emails saying that you could get $5 off any order for a limited time until they finish shipping the boxes and you could reuse the code as many times as you want. So I got a little carried away. And this isn't even all of it. I have another order that I haven't received yet. And I placed an order with the $35 loyalty gift card they sent out. So I've got more coming, but it's taking them forever to ship. So I'm gonna show you what I've got so far, because I love it. The first item is their lipstick in Molly. I love their lipsticks, just their regular line. I find they're long wearing, they're beautiful, they feel good, they don't have a weird scent, they come in a fabulous variety. And the only thing I don't like their pro about their products in general is that their packaging is kind of chintzy. I just got this a week ago and their logo is gone, gone, and it's been this chintzy all along. It makes me so sad. I'm kind of a collector, I don't want to admit it, but I think it's becoming increasingly obvious that I collect makeup and I have a growing Starlux collection and I want to look at it and have it be pretty, but at least it's very, very functional. So this is the color. It's just glorious. They actually have it on their Facebook page today. They're doing some sort of Molly Fashion Week thingamajigo and the lipstick they used on the model they said was Molly. It's just, oh, oh, it's got kind of like an iridescent sheen to it. Love it, I'm so glad I chose this one. There was a bunch of other colors I loved too, but luckily most of them were sold out, so it made my choice a little bit easier. The next item that I purchased from them was their lip gloss in Victoria. I was hoping this would be a duplicate for their soft petal rose. This is much brighter, much brighter. So I still need to work on that. I could just shoot them an email, but that takes the fun out of guessing. And this is actually an absolutely perfect match for Molly. So I think it was a good choice. And it goes well with a lot of the lipsticks that I tend to wear in the spring and summer. I love the bright fuchsias. So it'll match well with a lot of things. This one is the lip gloss in Victoria. And last, but probably most incredibly useful, I ordered their lip pencil in Bare. This is a little tricky to find if you're interested in this. It's no longer listed on their lip pencil page, but if you go to their signature sets page, at the bottom they have an Ipsy featured lip liner section, and this is hidden there. So I had to dig for it. The reason I wanted it is back in like April or June or 2012, their looks books featured the lipstick in orthotic, lip liner in bare, and a lip gloss in I don't remember what. I don't actually own that one and I am sad. But I had purchased Orthotic and I really wanted to warm it up a bit and this I think is the way to do it. This is really lovely. I'm actually wearing it now underneath a pinky nude lip gloss and it evened out my skin tone a lot. I have freckles on my lips. So this was just exactly what I needed. I'm very excited and I think this will work well with a lot of their tender glosses that I don't tend to use because they're a bit sheer and I don't like the way my lips look. So this might actually increase the usefulness of my entire Starlux lip collection for me. Very excited about this. All these products cost about $12 or $13 each in their shop. They're all available to buy without being a member of their program if you're interested. Starlux does have a subscription box. It's um, $15 a month plus shipping and it's definitely worth it. It's really, really fun. But if you just want to grab a few things, they do sell some of their past boxes on their site for $25. They sell their products and they often have gift codes that they're not shy about splashing on the front page of their site too. So it's definitely worth looking out for. Again, their packaging is a little bit chintzy, but I've always loved their products. If you've ordered anything from them lately that you absolutely love, let me know what it is. I'm always interested in trying new Starlux products. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous night. Bye.